What is up you guys, Sage here. Today, we're gonna be discussing air. We talked about unique, expensive, and sticky. Today's air, and air basically means it doesn't cost much to manufacture, it doesn't cost much to deliver. Um, we're talking about as low overhead as possible, and that's actually why an online uh, service business would be a great first business to start, because low cost, good economics, low delivery, low overhead, flexible location, flex um, is technologically accessible uh, all over the world, so, so your, your potential customers are endless. Um, and it's low stakes to come in. You can come in without actually putting any money down. Um, just use what you've got. So, and also it would be fantastic as, as an end game piece. That's why people are investing so much right now in, in software, um, in technology, in templates, something that you can build, which we discussed briefly yesterday as well, something you can build that will perpetually make you lots of money, uh, some sort of recurring revenue system. Those, those are the alternate because in order to fulfill, it literally doesn't cost you much. Now, the difference with, with a sort of software versus an online service business, online service business, great to start because it doesn't cost you much to get in. You just have the things that you have and you, you learn a skill, deliver that skill. That's awesome. Now I'm talking about end game. Online is a good space to be. And the reason for that is literally the same reasons. Low to deliver, um, low delivery cost, low overhead, flexible location, and your, your, your customer base is, is damn near endless. Oh, excuse. But then if we're gonna talk about some sort of software, the, the, the difference would be, this would be expensive to develop, expensive to make, um, and it would take a lot of time to actually make the thing. And you would need to be an expert. You would need to have put the time in to go from here and, and, you, and you've developed yourself, you've developed your understanding and you can actually create perhaps software to make this process easier. You can create software to, to make whatever, whatever process, whatever industry you're in. Um, you see gym guys coming up with apps now, um, like there's the, uh, the bodybuilder, Ian Valer. I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to give shout outs now. Ian Valer has, a, has an app. I don't know what it's called, but there, there, there are a bunch of these. I think Iman also has a, a workout app that he works with or that that's his app. They, like, there's an app for everything now. And the reason why apps are such uh, or a space that people are, are trying to, to attack so much is because you literally have to, or you literally only have to make the thing once. Cost a lot to make it, fine. It costs it, it, a lot of skill, a lot of everything. The developing has to work, it has to be smooth. You may have to refine it for a while and you may need people in the business constant, constantly adding certain features, removing certain features, making it as easy and smooth as possible for the person to consume. But once you've made the, the crux of it, once you've made the backbone, and it's something that works and people engage with it, then that's it, it's done, you've made it. And people are gonna pay subscriptions to, to constantly be on your thing. So, so, that's, so that's what makes it a, a, great, um, a great end game strategy. And, and it's also the same, the same basic principle, which is air. Something that doesn't cost much to deliver once it's there, if we're talking big picture, um, if you're talking small time, then it still won't cost you much to deliver and you can actually be in the game and developing the skills that may one day lead you to be on this side of things. So this is pretty much the, the video. From here, um, I'm going to be I'm going to be just having a conversation with my people. I don't think today's video is going to be too, too long. But yeah, be air, my friends. What did Bruce Lee say? Be water. Yeah, man. So yeah, me and my people, bro. Yeah. What's up with you guys? Why are the comments so quiet? You guys, you never, you never mean to say, never. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so briefly, take one. I had something to say about. Before I say that, actually, <laughs> I just remembered why this this was a take two. Did 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 I have anything else to add? Have another offer? Nah, that's. No, that's, that's completely different uh, business target and, and conversation or whatever. So, yeah, I was going to talk about myself briefly. So, yeah, just to make sure, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series thus far. Uh, we, we talked about the, the, the ideals, you know, the keys of business. Unique, expensive, sticky air. This is the last installation. Um, this is air. And yeah, as you can see, it's actually not much. There was a last part. Now I remember it. Didn't write it down. Scale. If you want to, so with unique, expensive, sticky, and air, if you have unique, expensive, sticky, air, if you, if you could literally package air and you're the only person who could sell air, 
unique you can sell it at a high price expensive everyone needs to pay you to breathe air sticky and it's literally air so it doesn't cost anything to deliver it's just there then you you could be as as, as wealthy as there is money <laughs> you can have as much money as as there is so so that's what would make it the ideal and that so to apply that in business terms then that means whatever you're doing is going to be a great thing to do and that's why we, we talked about the the online service example right if you if you manage online because that's already air because it doesn't cost much to deliver etc um, if you can make it unique expensive and sticky then you have a game winner and the only thing you'd need to add and the reason why there was a take two is because i i wanted to mention scale in order to go from from zero to a million us which is say 16 16 odd million uh south african um they're around to go from zero to, to 18 actually 18 i remember i remember i, I looked it up recently it's 18 point something oh, sad <laughs> but i'll fix it we will fix it me and you we're gonna make businesses so to, to go from zero to, to 18 m it would literally just take those things unique expensive sticky air to go from that 18 above you would need to add scale to the equation so you, so you can actually scale your business up to up like a meter, bro. Solid meter, bro. Couple meter. Over 10M, bro, South African. You get what I'm trying to say? You can make bank um, by yourself if, if you have unique, expensive, sticky air. And then from there, you would need to scale it, which means you would need more people so you can provide to more people. Because you're only one person. You can only serve so many people like it's a service business like we said and you can only provide your time for like to so many people so in order to go beyond you would need to now have an acquisition team have a sales team have a delivery team um you would need to have the what's that what's that third leg of business called again the the the, the process team the like legal hr etc you know then then you start to apply those things and then you you can build like a corporation but to go from zero to, to 18 odd million 20 million uh, south african it, it just takes unique expensive sticky air yeah so that's pretty much the end of that, that that's pretty much the end of that video <laughs> and then there's the second half you know you know if you know you know if you don't if you don't get it forget about it man shit i'm saying yeah bro uh yeah i just want to talk to my people briefly uh i was, I was gonna discuss oh yeah our, our ideas so obviously uh, a conversation that i've been having with myself internally is is obviously what to do you know is where we're we're gonna take this because the dream the vision is we want to to create a personal brand around creating value you know, I want to provide as much value as possible. And I want that to be my thing, you know, like, oh, that's, that's that guy. That guy just, you know, he changed the world, bro. <laughs> he changed my world. At least, at least one person to be like, oh, that guy really he changed my life, bro. I was never the same. I saw that one video and I was never the same. That That's why I make these. Uh, but in a more practical sense, in, in terms of business, my, my core belief and a part of my, my thought process and system is I want to create opportunity. My ultimate, and I've, I figured this out recently, I think an ultimate for me would be if I had some sort of holding company, South African holding company, um, I say specifically South African because we're going to start in South Africa. But if maybe, maybe even after I'm, I'm gone, it can, it can spread across Africa and we can have businesses across Africa and, and you know, have, have equity in them and then grow them. That would be fantastic for me. I mean, I guess it is, it's similar to uh, someone who I've obviously idolized, which is Alex Hormozzi. But he has, he, he's doing that in the U.S., and that's awesome that's fantastic but the u.s doesn't really need that do they like it's awesome like okay the individuals need it but i'm saying uh, in terms of the, the general population of the u.s they're fine you know they're 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 they're, they're, they're fine regardless but a lot of people appreciate his work myself included 
um you and myself very much bro i, I literally have i have both these books i i take notes i watch every single video that he puts out and i take notes during the during the video and some of those notes inspire some of the the things that i say um and even the 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 unique expense of sticky air that that concept actually came from from something he said but uh my my gift my talent <laughs> is i'm i'm like a i'm like a i'm like a producer I'm like a producer of samples bro i'm dre <laughs> i'm dre because i i hear the clip that let me <laughs> do still you know yeah i know i know dr didn't write that song but still but he made the beat but anyway i'm dre bro i hear something i'm like that's gold take that plug it in do my own thing you know so anyway yeah an ultimate for me would be having some sort of holding company and and and, and just growing it man scaling it across um across africa because i think it's something that we need i think we need big business i think we need big business within the continent and i think we need to be the ones who, who own the businesses you know that that's a big big part of the mission is that these are african owned businesses that serve africa when i say african owned me when it comes to strictly business listen politically we we can talk about we can talk about this than the next and religiously we can talk about this than the next and then whatever beliefs whatever strictly business if we're talking business baba if your business is on the continent and serves the continent and serves a community that is on the continent, then that is an African business to me. You may be a white man, you may be an Afrikaans man, you may be an Indian man, you may be a colored man. But if what you're doing is creating opportunities for my people and the capital that you're making from this is serving my people, building my communities, etc., our communities at that point, because you're on my team, you're on my side, you are on the same mission as me, you're trying to build this continent and you're building on this continent for this continent, right? Instead of the what what we find is the the diamonds in Kimberley are being mined, the 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 diamond and then the diamonds are sent to London. Do you do like instead of that, instead of where where people are extracting from from the continent, you're a part of my mission and you're you're pushing what I'm pushing, you're pushing my dream, my vision, which is Hey, let's let's do things here. And there's nothing that we need outside of ourselves, outside of each other, in order to achieve these big things. You know, you you're on my wavelength if you're if you're building and if you have built and you've built for this country, for this continent. You know? So yeah, the dream is USA, bro. United United States of Africa. <laughs> um so yeah, to to, to be something that that owns sort of pieces of, of equity all throughout the continent and helps those companies grow and scale so that they can impact the the communities around them and the only reason why to own equity versus i don't know consulting or something is because then i have skin in the game you know then if they don't do well i don't do well and and i have, I have more incentive to you know, to sort of get in and they also have reason to take what we're doing seriously because now I own a piece of the pie. Do you, do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's, it's something that n people who are not committed are not going to sign that, that kind of deal, are not going to go into that type, that kind of situation if they're not committed to actually growing the thing. So I think it, it brings out all seriousness from both parties. I think that's a good thing. Um, and then, yeah, before that though, um i've been thinking about having a consulting firm as well not because i i, I actually don't want to do it can i be honest with you <laughs> can i be honest with you i don't want to do that i don't know why man it's because okay i know why it's because i actually want to give and i want to provide an actual i want to provide actual product and actual service myself before i provide expertise you know because yes we we are currently self-educating in business 
and we're going to continue doing so. We are currently growing, growing the brand and, and then the platform and trying to give to as many people as much value as possible. And that is leading to, to people coming to me for such advice and then such conversations. And, you know, it, it is something that's happening right now in real time. But I don't I don't want to start there. But I don't know, bro. God's plan. And, you know, God's plan and... and Whatever opportunities come, I'm obviously gonna gonna try and maximize and then do the best I can for you and me. But I really would. Okay, before I do that, okay, so so here's here's the sort of mental path, you know. I like I like I, I do try try to 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 talk about North Star. A North Star is fantastic for me. So the North Star would be the holding companies that own percentages all across Africa. North Star. Before that, we can say, okay, consulting. And then we consult, consult, consult. We give value to the companies, value to the companies, value to the companies until we, we, we can have a large, a large amount of, of liquid. And then we can buy in. We can start to buy into these companies that, that we consult so that we can actually ha have our, our hands on the ground and, and build and, and you know, inject our own people into the system and, and inject our own culture and make it one big you know, umbrella. We should come up with a name for this, by the way. If, if you're still watching this, shout out to you, bro. <laughs> Comment down below what do you think the, the name of the of the holding company should be. So, we, yeah, under one umbrella. So it's consulting, feeding into that. But before this, right here. So here's where we are now, right now. Where we're, we're enriching ourselves, knowledging ourselves, trying to provide as much value for absolutely free as we possibly can. And then from there, we're going to go into education, not any education. I'm trying to get into, we just discussed this, the, the online. We discussed online and we discussed the, the value of making things that don't need you to be a part of it in order for them to function. So, of course... Where the, the the goal would be to start for free, which we we're kind of building that reputation already by having the channel and being there consistently. Where we're we're building that reputation of okay, this person can show up consistently and this person can provide value consistently. So I think the the idea would be to transfer that onto somewhere where we can we can monetize implementation. So a big thing for me is give the secrets for free and then sell implementation because that's literally if you can implement it yourself then do it you know but if you if you can't do that if you struggle with that part then i i can be there to do that with you and that way we that way we both win because you because the thing you want to happen actually happens and then i also get to to eat from this game i also get a, a slice of the cake i get to to be involved and to to have resources so that I can create more, you know, and build more and build bigger and like reinvest even in the in the channel, you know. I, I actually have a, a ring light coming in. Big shout out to my brother, man, Jay Lingham. Um, I have a ring light coming in so that I can also record during the night. So, <laughs> so our productivity is, is going to be uppity, uppity, up, bro. Uh, like anytime, bro, anytime the, 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 the itch strikes us, we can boom come out here and record you know we're not going to be restricted by a certain lighting and you know we can already record during the daytime what if i don't have time what if i'm working what if i'm doing this what if i'm doing that and then it's nighttime then i can't record even though i have this idea and do you, do you see what i'm trying to say so that that's where i'm thinking right now is i'm just going to be reinvesting in this thing we have the rain light coming in already um we have a new book coming in as well again shout out big shout out to jade lingam man um jade lingam is actually the guy who is responsible for all the any any music you hear on this channel belongs to jade lingam um that might be a lie <laughs> but i i i usually i usually tag him at his stuff man and he's, he's actually in the description of the channel as a whole um you'll find uh his his socials are tagged there and he actually makes very good music now you know me i'm mr give so i i wouldn't like BS you guys and, and try to take from you. I wouldn't tarnish my own reputation like that. Um, but I actually do listen to his stuff, you know. Um, yeah, that being said, the ring light, eventually we try and get a mic in here. Hey, man, 
you know we 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 reinvest in the thing we build the thing we make sure our, our okay we start working on a sound make sure our sound is better actually lighting first so we can keep on so that that's an important thing is i also apply these things that i'm that i say to you guys which for example solve it's know the difference between solving a problem and pursuing an opportunity now i have a twitch channel that that was an opportunity that is an opportunity i mean it's there sometimes i might stream because i don't really play games that often but when i do i'm, I'm going to stream it because why not but that's an opportunity that's not really solving the problem of how am, am i going to get more views on here probably not like how does this directly affect that is the question so with with the the light it's oh, okay directly affects productivity because i can do more and doing more is equal to uh increase improving the skill and volume plus leverage is equal to higher output do you, do you see that so that's solving a problem the mic is that solving a problem not really but it is a we can we can improve the the quality but it's also understanding you see in in, in the thought process that okay so light that that's a problem we can't record at night that's a problem can they hear us yes can they hear us like as crisply as crisply as they can probably not so do we want a mic yes opportunity do we need a mic are we solving a problem how is having a mic directly going to impact do you, do you see what i'm trying to say it doesn't um getting the book that's more knowledge that's more relevant knowledge especially the book that i'm getting it's um lost in transformation by um saint peter blanche and that's very directly about south african economics that's solving a problem i don't know the things that are in that book and me getting that knowledge is giving me the kind of knowledge especially that i want to provide that's solving a problem you know so it's how does this thing directly affect the thing that i'm trying to do whatever you're trying to do i'm just making examples of um of creating the content because that that's what that's what i'm doing at this moment but in whatever vector in whatever industry in whatever you're trying to do at that time you should ask yourself okay is this an opportunity or am i actually solving a problem can i solve this problem with something that i have now especially when especially when resources are scarce then then you learn the skill and this is the final point because i don't want to keep you guys for too long this is the final point is that's when you learn the 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 fantastic skill that mm, the most highly successful entrepreneurs have is not resources it's resourcefulness so it is in those moments when the resources are scarce that you you you, you begin to get the the superpower of thinking like this of, of being able to implement the the lessons for example problem versus opportunity and then you gain that superpower where you realize it's not about having resources it's about resourcefulness Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Sage, signing out. Hey, thanks again for watching. If you haven't watched the first video in the series, this is it. And if you want to check my boy Jade Lingham out, that's it right there. Thank you.